Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, April 8th. And as you can see, it's a bit dark in my room. That's because our power just went out on our entire street. <laughs> so I was right in the middle of teaching a cursive lesson, which no big deal. Didn't really use technology for that. Um, did have my projector on, but that's about it. And lights went down. I checked next door and apparently it's the entire block here in our neighborhood. So we're gonna try our best to teach through this blackout today. Uh, this means no air conditioning. Today is supposed to be in the 90s, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully this outage doesn't last too long because that could be really scary if it gets that hot in here. Also, a lot of the things that we're doing today don't really require a whole lot of electricity or power or technology, so that's great. I'm glad that the blackout happened now and I hope they get it back online because we need our computers for AZ Merit testing tomorrow. So fingers crossed that they get this fixed. Let's see what we've got going on today. All right, so this morning we did cursive for about 35 minutes. So this morning we did some cursive writing. We worked on the letter Q and the letter M and we also did the letter P. So after that, the kids are in music right now. After that, we're gonna do some reading review. I just have a few AZ Merit practice passages that we're gonna read together and then do the questions. And then we have a fractions review. And I'm actually using the fractions review pages from the Carnival Room Transformation test review. I decided I didn't have enough time or resources to do the um, room transformation, but I am going to use the question sets and handout tickets for every question done correctly so that students can earn those tickets and then we're gonna do some kind of other incentive with them. Then we will have lunch, math and reading intervention. During that time, we're gonna do some centers from the not so wimpy teacher and I'll show those to you in a minute. Then we have recess and then we're gonna do some creative writing and I'll show that to you in just a second. So these are the math centers that I'm doing and they're by a not so wimpy teacher. And they're nice because they have about 10 centers and they range for all of the fraction um, standards. So we're going to be doing those all week for 20 minutes a day and see if the kids can finish them um, by the end of the week. If not Friday, they will get their time to catch up. And then for writing, we're doing the write on second and third grade writing activity. This one we're doing the fiction writing and we're doing the pirate writing. And this is by Amy Lemons and Hope King. And I love these because they're already pre-made and they're low prep and low planning, so I'm just sorting through that. Today we're just doing lesson one, and that is just brainstorming. So as a class, I made a giant one of these, but the kids are gonna brainstorm characters and settings of a pirate story, a problem in a pirate story, events that could take place in a pirate story, and solutions. And then the giant poster is up there, so I'll have kids bring up a sticky note with their ideas, and then we'll just kind of share them together. And then the students will be able to create their own um, brainstorming map here with their ideas before they begin writing. So that's what we've got going on this morning. It's already hot in here. I just filled my cup up with some ice from our ice machine before that goes and melts. And I just made coffee. So I'm going to try and get through this prep and try and get as much done as I can while my computer is on. And that's kind of another scary thing is like, I should maybe just keep my computer not being used because if there is an emergency and I need to email using my computer, as long as I have it not on, I can at least open it and use it. So I'm going to try to do as much as I can during this prep and deal with this blackout. Hey guys, sorry for my rugged appearance, but it's the end of the day. The lights did finally turn on. Um, they actually turned on about five minutes after I put the camera down. So that worked out nicely. Um, the room is now ready for testing tomorrow. We just moved all of our desks. They're now in rows. And I just turned over some stuff and covered some stuff and everything's pretty much down. Got the computer cart ready. And we are ready for the reading test tomorrow. So I'm just trying to get my computer to print a couple of things. It doesn't look like it's going to work. So I might have to close my computer and start over. <sighs> I hate when I have to do that. But anyway, 
we are um, ready for AZ Merit tomorrow. And it's like scary because, you know, for third graders, if they're not proficient, then they don't move on. And it's just a lot of pressure and I don't like state testing. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna plan to get a big old Starbucks tomorrow and a fun breakfast to motivate me to have a great day and to do my part for them. So anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go and I'll see you later. Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. Today's Tuesday the 9th and today we have AZ Merit testing. We're doing the reading test, so I'm wearing my Read Like a Superhero t-shirt. This is by Lipstick and Littles. If you guys don't know who she is, she has this amazing website full of teacher t-shirts as well as other amazing teacher products like pop sockets and tumblers and sweatpants and sweatshirts and all the really good stuff. So anyways, I am wearing my Read Like a Hero t-shirt and I'm actually wearing some like leggings and I kind of look like I'm going on a field trip today, but I decided I'm self-proclaiming that on testing days I can wear either yoga pants or jeans because I'm spending the entire day proctoring a state test. I need to be flexible. I need to be able to just walk around and be comfortable. And my kids are missing PE on all of our testing days since we test on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I decided on those days I will be taking them outside at the end of their testing and doing like a PE activity with them. So with that being said, I'm going to take them out today to play toxic water and I'm gonna show you what that is. Okay, so depending on how many students you actually have, you will wanna break them up into equal teams. So because I have 21 students, I'm gonna break mine up into three equal teams of seven. Do you guys know the little like poly spots that PE teachers use? They're like round and they're like kind of like a stand spot. It's like rubber. Okay, so each student needs one of those. They begin here at the starting point. And each team has an island or a safe zone at the halfway mark. So usually I play this on like a basketball court or some kind of like outdoor place with like lines. You could play it on a field. Um, it is easier on like concrete. So each student has to, on their poly spot, so let's just imagine this is their poly spot, this poly spot has to be touched at all times by either your finger, your toe. It can never be left untouched for longer than two seconds. Two seconds. Also, okay, so the spot cannot be left untouched longer than two seconds. Another rule is each student may not touch the ground. So their foot has to stay on this poly spot. They cannot touch the ground. So if their foot touches the ground at all, other than like, say their foot's like this big, if their foot's hanging off the poly spot like that, I'm not gonna like make them stop and start over, but if their foot touches the ground outside of this poly spot, like if they fall or for any reason they step off, their entire team has to start over at the beginning. So the goal of the game is to get the entire team to the safe spot and then across to the end without anyone touching the ground or without any poly spots being untouched. So the game is called Toxic Water and it is a complete community game. I usually play this in the beginning of the school year to get kids working together. However, I didn't do it this year because it was so hot at the beginning of the year. So I'm doing it in the middle just because it's a fun game for the kids. And then maybe we'll play it again at the end of the year, but it is like a super fun community builder game and I'll vlog a little bit of it today so you guys can see what it looks like, but I think the kids will have a really fun time. So we'll play that today and then maybe we'll play that Thursday. If not, maybe we'll do kickball instead, but right now I'm gonna go and venture off to find my PE teachers to see if I can borrow those poly spots and hula hoops because I use hula hoops for their little like island thing. So I'm gonna go on a hunt for that. I'm gonna prep a few things. I am planning to do some major social studies and science coverage now that testing is over. And I know that I should probably integrate this more into the regular school year, but I just couldn't find a spot for it. And being a first year third grade teacher, this is my first time teaching third grade, I really was learning a lot about what to do and when to do it. So now I have a great idea of what I wanna do next year. So I'm doing I'm starting off next week on non-testing days. We're gonna start with just 
mapping skills. And we're going to incorporate the Arizona Social Studies standards into mapping because next year our state is moving Arizona Social Studies to third grade instead of fourth grade. So I know that my students this year will completely miss it when they go to fourth grade next year. So I'm going to actually cover it at the end of this semester. So we are going to do mapping skills. We're going to do continents, oceans, um, latitude, longitude, hemispheres, cardinal directions, keys, legends, the whole spiel for mapping. But we're going to tie it into Arizona studies because I have um, an Arizona textbook that actually covers all of that in the beginning. So we'll read like two pages and then we'll do some notebook activities. And then after they have mastered their mapping skills, then we will go into studying the regions of Arizona and the geography of Arizona using the mapping skills. So I'm getting all prepped for that. I have my students' science social studies notebooks ready to go. And then I did copy all of their um, notebook materials for next week so that we can actually get that started. And then we're going to be working on animal habitats. So my students are like dead in the middle of writing an informational essay about an animal, so like an animal report. And so when they're finished typing that, they will be doing the shoebox diorama animal report. And I'm really excited for that. I think they're going to have a blast. So that will be our way to tie in science as well. And um, they will be doing research on Epic. They'll be doing research on the computers. So they'll be using technology and incorporating reading skills into all of that. So we're going to try and make it super fun and engaging for the rest of the school year. And I will check in with you guys on all of that shortly. These girls start over. Good save. One, two, three, too long. Start over. Oh man, start over. Sorry guys. it's Thursday I just wanted to take this opportunity to end today's vlog because I'm getting ready to do another Arizona merit test nothing else exciting is happening in here and I just wanted to make sure that I ended this vlog because I'm really bad at ending vlogs I don't know what it is I just always forget to end the vlog so I wanted to say thank you guys so so much for watching I really really appreciate all of your love and support if you're not already please subscribe to my channel like this video 
Comment down below if you guys have any questions about anything that you see in any of my videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see more daily updates about what's going on in my classroom. Also, don't forget that you do have a coupon code for any Lipstick and Littles t-shirts like this one. Down in the description box below, it is 15% off and the code is APPLES. Thank you guys again so, so much for watching. I will see you next week and I hope you guys have a magical day. Bye.